I, I wrote before the All-Star break, uh, you should lose every game. And I wonder, with all the moving parts, and you went through it yesterday, we, I know it's complicated. Players want to win. You can't say to players. Nobody could go in and say, oh, we want you to lose the rest of the games after the All-Star break. The coach is out there. He's trying to win games. You're in the eighth position right now. No, I wish we were. No. No. I'm sorry. Like 11th. Yeah. No, I meant for... Oh, the draft. draft. I'm sorry. Oh, yep, oh yep, okay. Got you. Yep, I thought yep. you meant seating in the... Uh, uh, I, I was told that uh, there are six possible team-changing players. And you know the statistic. Ben, Benjamin Hockman came to me with it and came to us with it, that uh, the last 26 teams or something had a draft pick that was top in six. the top six. Yep. Uh, I guess you've heard that, too. <clears throat> Is there a way, I mean, are you, and, I, and I've heard you on shows, and this question is too long, I, I apologize for it, but it's kind of complicated like everything else, but as the general manager, you want them to do well, but you also want to get in a position where you can get one of those game changers and team changers next year. How complicated is that for you, and I mean, where do you stand my, my feeling was, let's see those younger players. And you just signed another young player, Laverne, who has been, who's from France, mm -hmm. I believe, been yeah. playing in Russia. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to see him. I mean, I know you've got to say to the fans, we're trying to put the best product on there, but I think Denver fans are smart enough, and I'm sorry, this is really too long. Denver fans are smart enough to understand that you're in a reconstruction era, if you will. You may not refer to it, but what is what do you do going forward so you can accomplish all the things you want what's to? The, what's How the plan? Is that? No, absolutely. It's uh, no. We're going to try thank to win every game. Its, thank you, God. <laughs> Somebody get a new interview in here. <laughs> we're going to win every game. I mean, excuse me. We're going to attempt to win every game, certainly. But look, we are where we are. We can't um, pretend we're, we're in a, a spot where not playing young players and see what they can do wouldn't be advantageous to us. Um, we have between Harris and Nurkic and Green, now Joffrey, we just acquired Will Barton, another young player. Um, we have a lot of young guys. Um, we need to see what they can do in the coming uh, months. So we go in the offseason with a real sense of wh what they are and where they can potentially fit in. Um, uh, in terms of getting the top six, I think you know a lot of that is just happenstance and luck to some degree. Um, I don't know if we see six game changers, to be honest with you. Um, I think we, the number's a little lower for us, but we see real value in the draft from um, you know five on, um, beyond the obvious top picks. And we would love to be lucky enough to get in the top three. I mean, the numbers don't lie. Uh, could could I ask you right. who you think the game changers are? Uh, I, I, I don't want to get you in a situation where you're talking about guys coming out, but I'll say there are mean, two Kentucky players. That obviously, there's Okafor, who's we would think is coming out. Even his coach has said he's yeah. the one yeah. done player. I mean, that's that's three that I know of. We mentioned uh, a couple of others that there are four or five guys that seem to be maybe not six, but yeah, no, I'd love to. Unfortunately, the rules preclude me from doing so, and I'm, I don't make enough money to get fined. But <laughs> off the record, we could talk about it. Um, it's a good draft. Turn the mics off. Yeah. <laughs> it's off now? Can we go? <laughs> it's, it's a good draft. We uh, just finished up our uh, mid-season draft meetings last week, and we were pleasantly surprised of how many guys we really liked. Um, so, Tim, it, it's a team that came into the season thinking it could get to the playoffs, and yeah. a lot of fans felt that way, too. And, and frankly, I felt yeah. that you could get into maybe the 6th, 7th, or 8th spot this year. It's not happening.